नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते सर नजीर जी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते तारा प्रसन्न जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यूएचबी 3 एंड इन यूएचबी 3 वी हैव कम टू द एंड ऑफ द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल सो एसेंशियली वी लुक्ड एट द ह्यूमन बीइंग वी लुक्ड एट the expression of this coexistence in the form of nature this entire expression every unit being in coexistence we looked at all of this and now very really briefly we are touching on our role in this existence more on this will be in the next module starting from lecture 21 which we will come to in a moment but before that after all of this you know being able to see what the design of this existence is how things are in harmony in a very self organized manner how they are participating with one another with that we get our own participation our own self organization and how we can live in harmony with every other unit in nature so to recap we had talked a little bit or we had at least um spoken of this assignment where we recapped the exercise 1 the final steps of exercise 1 which is to look at our natural acceptance which is reflecting this design of the existence within us so we ask this question in step 6a of exercise 1 which feelings are naturally acceptable to you feelings of relationship or opposition harmony or disharmony coexistence or struggle it seems like uh, this is obvious this is not any question to ask but then if you really see how is it so obvious we have a natural acceptance for it therefore we find it to be obvious answer a spontaneous answer from within with this we need to see whether okay this is something that is naturally acceptable to me if we look at the feelings when we say feeling of relationship we can look at all the nine feelings we talked of and we'll find that each of these nine feelings starting from trust going all the way up to love with respect affection all of these in between each of these feelings are naturally acceptable to us isn't it so in step 6a i think we are all able to verify this are we able to verify this is there anybody who finds that these are not naturally acceptable feeling of relationship feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence you can put in the chat what is your finding so i can see that we are able to verify this for ourselves then we had asked in step 6b if the feelings of relationship harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable then we need to understand all this relationship harmony coexistence so this is what we've been trying to do isn't it all of uhp3 we've been trying to do this and even with the exercises in fact the understanding will happen with our own exploration 
what we are trying to do with the exercises with which we three is to draw attention to this ultimately with our own contemplation with our own exploration within we will slowly be able to awaken to these higher activities within us and be able to see these so with the activity of contemplation be able to see relationship with the activity of understanding be able to see harmony and with the activity of realization be able to see the coexistence and essentially when you see that you understand it you know it so in uhv3 and even in the exercises which are also a part of uhv3 in fact our focus is on that in fact this entire morning session is devoted to exploration within so that it's a reminder something that draws attention to this that we need to understand and every morning we do it so that the rest of the day this can be something that we can explore and for the rest of the day we can experiment with it experiment with it in the sense bring our feelings in line with it bring our thoughts in line with it and see the calm that you experience the happiness the satisfaction the peace so essentially that is the task to do and while the exploration and the understanding has to happen from within all these can be assets all these can be helpful in the path whether it be this method with the exercises whether it be the content of uhv3 whether it be uhv course you are doing or whether it be your reading of what is there in the many of the traditional texts and in fact you might find that as you explore and as your understanding grows you will be able to understand what is written in the texts also in a better manner right now many of the things we have interpreted all you know upside down and based on our own assumptions so we we looked at how we see the reality when we are not awakened to the higher activities so as you awaken to the higher activities you will start seeing more and more of this existence and what you saw earlier you might see the contradiction in what you saw earlier also now you may be able to see your assumptions being set right with the help of the exploration so like we always say you know this is not just to be believed some of us may still be doing that that whatever is said here is true let's not just believe it because ultimately if we believe it we are stopping our own exploration within because now we think we know it but we don't so rather than believing let's keep it open let's keep exploring and checking within what is happening so essentially in step 7 of exercise 1 we were trying to see if we can bring the b2 block in line with this what is our natural acceptance so once we are able to see the natural acceptance once we are able to see our imagination now it is clear that if the feeling is not in line with the natural acceptance and i am disturbed then i have to have the feeling in line and then i find that i am no longer disturbed so this this third part in this to investigate whether the feeling that you have at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence or not now if you investigate into this feeling right now 
you might find yes i have this feeling but that's not good enough because right now all the inputs you are getting are about that we are talking about relationship we are talking about harmony we are talking of coexistence we are discussing it we are taking examples of it so your thought process is also in line with that and so at this time you may have that feeling but that is not sufficient for our continuity of happiness we need to ensure this feeling all the time that is the challenge so that we can be in harmony we can be happy every moment so that we can be continually in happy to try to see that during the whole day during all my interactions am i able to have the right feeling or am i having disturbance within conflict within am i having um, you know outbursts which i don't want to have so that is the challenge that is when we need to work because you will see that your feeling keeps changing moment to moment moment to moment so we need to ensure it so this is the task at hand if you can um look at this within yourself and see you know say for example yesterday how did your day go first of all are we aware of our imagination all day all through the day or are we from time to time thinking about it but then getting busy with everything outside that we need to do and forgetting to also pay attention inside so the starting step is that that we need to pay attention inside and then bring our be do block in line with the natural acceptance so if anybody has observations thoughts questions on this we'll take it दीदी नमस्ते दीदी सबको नमस्ते दीदी एज यू सेड बिकॉज ऑफ अ फैमिली फंक्शन नाउ अडे आई एम फेसिंग डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन फ्रॉम सो मेनी पीपल सो एट दैट टाइम आई एम हैविंग अ डाउट दीदी फॉर एग्जांपल आई आई लाइक कॉफी दीदी बट व्हेन समवन फोर्सेस मी टू हैव टी फॉर मल्टीपल टाइम्स देन आई हैव अ डाउट दीदी is the person really wants to make me happy like that i am starting to think dd i am having a feeling of opposition so at that time i am not able to accept the fact that other always wants to make me happy dd thinking that i am also don't want to make that other happy dd that is also happening dd when i am talking about respect i just want to know how to rightly evaluate myself that is the point where i am getting stuck up see yeah first of all you are looking at the behavior isn't it mm yes -hmm. and you are doubting their intention mm -hmm. because you are saying you are not sure they want to make you happy yes mm -hmm. what are you seeing when you are seeing the behavior are you seeing the intention i am seeing only the behavior dude mm -hmm. yes so what is the behavior representing the behavior is representing the competence isn't it mm -hmm. so we are looking at the competence and we are concluding something about the intention this is what you just said isn't it yes yes dear so this is the first thing that we talk about in trust isn't it look at mm -hmm. the natural acceptance look at the intention don't look at the competence you have to look at the competence eventually but don't confuse the two this is a very common mistake that we keep doing isn't it mm -hmm. after all these years we are still having this doubt why this is a basic isn't it feeling of trust if you look at the feeling of trust 
we talk about this no yes, we yes, ask yes. those questions whether we want to make the other happy the other wants to make us happy and what is actually happening in the ability part so these are two separate compartments that you must understand and have the clarity to keep them separate within yourself so that you can see it correctly for the other we are making the same mistake we are looking at the behavior we are concluding something about the intention but if you are able to see that the intention or the natural acceptance for the other is the same as yours then there is no doubt that's one thing mm -hmm. other thing is i also have many assumptions of my own isn't it mm -hmm. now you have concluded that somebody wants to is asking you to drink tea means they don't want to make you happy how did you conclude that perhaps they want to include you in what they are doing perhaps they want you to be a part of it no possible you can see the dg so we have decided something based on our own assumption so where is the problem the doubt is on our side and we are getting disturbed and we think it's because of them can you see this difference mm, yes yes dg yeah so eventually you know these small things and i know that it is the small things that disturb us these small day to day activities things like this in our behavior we conclude something without really looking at it properly so when you say right evaluation mm -hmm. what are we evaluating first and foremost you have to see whether you are evaluating at the level of the self or the body no what do we say is respect right evaluation of the self no right evaluation of what of the self only be yeah that we all have the same potential all that we talk about no mm. program potential and purpose yeah so from there you get the idea of the right evaluation but we don't look at all that we look at behavior we look mm -hmm. at how the person talks how the person looks what is all this this is coming under competence isn't it mm -hmm. and looking at the competence we have concluded something about the intention and there also even in the behavior i would say there's nothing wrong with you know somebody asking again and again to drink tea did we tell them that we don't like tea we want to have coffee see we conclude something within us we get disturbed but we don't talk about it it is so simple you can say i don't feel like can i have coffee instead i can make my own coffee you go ahead and have tea what is the problem in that we complicate too many things these are small things isn't it having discussed also didi if it repeats again and again then i am doubting their trust also didi and what is trust that the other wants to make you happy isn't it mm -hmm. how do you decide that you look at your own natural acceptance we ask this simple question right now what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition what is your answer feeling of relationship dibi so simple why do we doubt it where is the doubt in this we are not referring to a natural acceptance that's where the confusion is this is how i see it 
But if you refer to your natural acceptance, the answer is very obvious. You see, your natural acceptance doesn't change because of anything outside, because of the other person, because of the other person's behavior, because of your interpretation, all of that. Your mm -hmm. natural acceptance is definite. And it is universal. It is the same for all. Mm -hmm. If you see this, then all these things, you know, this are thoughts at the level of B2. And a difference in opinion is something that you are assuming to be a lack of intention. You have assumed that a different opinion, a different idea, a different thought of another person is a difference in natural acceptance. How did we assume this? If you look at the thoughts, there'll be a huge variety of thoughts. Different people have so many different opinions. You mean to say they all want to make you unhappy? None of them want to make us happy? It's just a difference in opinion. Isn't it? Yes, yes. What From happens the again? Person, the same opinion comes again and again. But they haven't changed and neither have you. Mm. Lack of competence on both sides. Who will take responsibility? If you think you have more understanding, then you need to take responsibility. At least the first thing we can do is take responsibility for our own feeling. We are not referring to our natural acceptance. We have assumed something. We are going by that assumption. This is the whole thing, isn't it? The crux is what? Refer to the natural acceptance. If you don't refer to the natural acceptance, you don't get the answer. Isn't it? And then you assume something which may be totally different, totally wrong. Mm -hmm. And without discussion, you have no idea what is behind their behavior. Isn't it? We have assumed something. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Reflect on it. Yeah. I'm thinking yes. now only my I'm working on myself. I'm thinking like that, mm -hmm. so These Days um, I was accepting, but now I'm working on exploration, Didi. The true knowledge <laughs> is now exhibiting to me, Didi. Like that, I'm thinking now, Didi. Yeah, this is what you said earlier also, I think. <laughs> it seems like that. True. Because we slip. Mm -hmm. Because some things that, you know, this is why consistency is so important. This is why that referring to the natural acceptance has to keep happening. Without yeah. that, you fall, you slip. But that's okay. That's part of the process. So you get up, again, refer to the natural acceptance. Anywhere you have a doubt, you have this disturbance within, look at your natural acceptance. Then it will become clear. Good morning, madam. Good morning. I, I was uh, telling the um, in response to the madam was saying, again and again people do. I just give a small narration. Mm -hmm. See, when we give work to our subordinates, what I used to observe, then they will do the work and they will send me the PDF file. So if you have a PDF file, you can't change it a bit even. I also, with a humble, very politeness, kept on telling them, please send PDF and word both. If your work is perfect, I will pick up the PDF. If it if needs a minor correction, I will correct on a word file and proceed ahead. People are working with their way of working. We, if we are clear, if we are humble, we need to continuously counsel them and get the things in order. Yeah. For the behaviors, something, ah. something you can see that they, it's not that they want to create Correct. a problem for you. Ah, That's yes. just the way they have been doing things. So it's a yes, lack of competence. Yes. Ah. That's ah. all. So if you look at it holistically, you will yeah. find that 
nobody really wants to do the wrong thing yeah. isn't it it is just that you know, they might not see the significance or they might be so used to doing things a certain way that they still go about doing the same way they Correct. forget because to them it's not so significant not so important mm -hmm. yes that can be the reason yes so there can be many reasons but ultimately yeah, 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 many yes absolutely yeah yeah ultimately and, we are talking about the competence versus the intention correct Just be able to see very clearly and yes. if you maintain the clarity of that then there is no problem yeah. same Thank thing you. happens with my own child mm -hmm. i may excuse my child i may not mm -hmm. think otherwise about my own child mm -hmm. because i am seeing my relationship with that person there also it is possible that when the child voices an opinion very different from mine mm. and it is something that i think is important to me mm. something i have assumed to be of significance to me mm. there again i may start doubting the intention mm. and i may react but ultimately it is important for us to be able to see these two separately intention and competence yeah then yeah, we can talk clarity yeah and we have to do it in a such a way that the person who is not doing it say for example out of four three people have done so then we have to thanks to other remaining three there we have to, this is a management method or so we don't have to doubt the intention but we need to communicate that is what i am need to say yeah ultimately see there can be many approaches when it comes to the behavior correct Listen, there are many ways yeah of helping the other become more competent correct correct, correct. there's lot of variety in the way we do things but ultimately at the base what is our understanding about it that is important to have uh, that clarity if we have then we can adopt any of those ways of doing things in line means, if we are able to get the work done from the person who has not done without condemning without abusing that is a win win situation that is the achievement yeah right. i would put it this way yeah thank, thank you. you let us go to lecture 21 so far we have been talking about the role how things are in the existence and trying to understand the human being understand the existence understand the expression of the existence in the form of nature and so on now in this next the last module of uhv3 we are going to look at human conduct the resolution that you are able to get after this knowledge of the human being and the existence and then seeing the way of living what is your role your participation as a human being what should be your conduct what is the holistic way of living so that we are going to look at so this lecture is about human conduct and you can see it says model 1 so there are two models we'll talk of model 1 in this lecture and in the next lecture we'll come to model 2 so if you look at this slide this is again a recap of what we have been talking about we said that we all desire continuity of happiness this is a need of the self and for this continuity of happiness we also said that we need the right understanding which means being able to see the reality the way it is being able to see everything in this existence the way it is and not through our own assumptions and with that bringing our lower activities in line so having the right feeling and right thought these are all activities of the self so this clarity that 
my happiness is my need and it is fulfilled by my own activities this is important even simple things like once we have gone through this again and again and again like geeta ji's example if we can have this clarity that my need for happiness is fulfilled from within me i will stop looking for it outside right now i am looking for it outside i am assuming something about the behavior of the other i am assuming their competence to be their intention and i am becoming unhappy but to have this clarity that my happiness has nothing to do with the other's behavior my happiness can be ensured from within myself so it is not about trying to change the other but about working on myself ultimately that is the solution isn't it the resolution or the complete solution solution to everything when we talk of behaviors when we talk of activities when we talk of um you know small pieces this happened at the office and therefore we did this or that happened with my relative and therefore i did this now these are all incidents that we are looking at and it's okay to look at the incident but that clarity of understanding needs to be at the base then we can come to the resolution otherwise based on our own assumptions we may conclude something we may think we are solving one thing but we may be disturbing something else like a simple example if there is a theft there is a thief who robs a person now all our sympathy is with that person who got robbed so we may do something to compensate to help this person who got robbed but what is our feeling towards the thief again we find we are not looking at things holistically we have assumed something without checking with our natural acceptance um natural acceptance for a feeling of relationship for all not just one or two human beings but again and again we look at the incident we look at the behavior and we conclude something this clarity we must maintain that your natural acceptance doesn't change regardless of the behavior of the other you still have the same natural acceptance just that you are not referring to it so where is the problem i need to pay attention to the natural acceptance i need to refer to it so with this when we talk of resolution first of all you have clarity of right understanding that means you are able to see everything the way it is in this existence not colored by your own assumptions based on that you identify what you really need to do so what is your goal and then the science when we said we said how to go about fulfilling that goal there you will you, you will bring your your b2 block into action how to go about doing it but if you don't refer to your natural acceptance so supposing you don't have this clarity of right understanding then all your the rest of the steps may go wrong isn't it because the base itself is not secure so with that base of right understanding with that clarity until we achieve completeness of right understanding 
we have the natural acceptance let us refer to that with that we can see what is our goal our goal is to get to that completeness of right understanding and to live with that understanding that's it how to go about it we get clarity of all this and there can be like we said lot of variety in the ways in which we do things we have various different thoughts different opinions and different ways can be achieved can be used for the same thing isn't it so if you want to stay healthy you want to take care of the body there can be many ways in which you do it isn't it one way can be to exercise one way can be to eat the right kind of food one way can be to think the right thoughts but all of this put together then you look at things holistically that clarity you can get only when you understand things holistically with that understanding of things holistically then we can look at the solution also holistically so that science about how to fulfill the human goal then is based on this clarity and with that then we instruct the body and it reflects in our behavior in our work in our participation in the larger order and if we see this ultimately we are all working towards an undivided human society a universal human order and a tradition in which this goal can be fulfilled generation after generation so again those are big objectives big um targets but then if you see slowly as we work on ourselves it has to start from ourselves as we work on ourselves as we see our role things can move in the right direction so when we spoke of this earlier we said there is the knower who is to know i am the one who needs to know so the knower is the self and we said what is to be known we said all of existence so we talked of three points so we have talked of the human being we have talked of the existence and now we are coming to human conduct how do we get to knowing again same thing awakening to the higher activities and how do we awaken to the higher activities again we come back to referring to our natural acceptance to begin with paying attention inside so unless we pay attention to it we can't expect results there isn't it but when we don't get the results and we get disturbed then it bothers us so this is what it is this is part of our self organization we want to be happy and we want to be happy in continuity the natural acceptance that has to be referred to at all times so as we keep doing that we slowly awaken to the activity of contemplation understanding and realization so that we can see the natural characteristic for every unit that is the relationship between all the units the relatedness we will understand the innateness the harmony that is there within each unit the self organization and how with this interconnectedness with the participation there is harmony in the larger whole also and ultimately realize be able to see the coexistence be able to see the submergence of the units in space as the basis for all of this so in this process of knowing or understanding we talked of the human being and the existence and now we are 
going to look at the human conduct. If you look at the human conduct, like we said, there are two formulations. We'll talk about the second formulation um, later. So in this model, we'll be looking at the role of the human being. How, what should be the conduct of the human being based on the understanding that we have developed so far? Working on or getting to see the human being as a human being, not just the body, but coexistence of self and body, seeing the whole design of existence, and now seeing what is my role in this my participation. That is the focus. Even in this model, there are two possibilities. One possibility is that we start from the lowest activity of selecting tasting. And as we go up, we move towards awakening to the higher and higher activities till we reach the activity of realization. That is one possibility. The other possibility about our conduct can be when we are moving downwards. So we have, say we are able to see things the way they are. We are at realization, the highest activity of the self. From there, we move down. And we bring all our lower activities in line with what we have been able to realize, what we have been able to see in the existence. So ultimately, that is what we were calling completeness of human conduct. So in the first case, when we are moving upwards, up to the highest activity of realization, there, we are trying to have completeness of knowledge, of understanding, to be able to see everything the way it is. And then when we move downwards, we are able to bring all of these lower activities in line with what we have been able to understand. And ultimately, this comes out in our behavior. So this would be completeness in the human conduct. So we'll start with this second possibility. Because that is what is significant when it comes to human conduct, isn't it? So here you can see in this diagram, you can see those arrows moving. So once you are at the level of activity of realization and you can see things the way they are you see the space you see the submergence of the units all of this now with this comes authentication what is that authentication now i decide or i can see that i want to bring all my lower activities in line with this So I look into the understanding of the harmony. I want to bring, you know, I focus on my self-organization and the self-organization that is there in all the units. And I want to be one with it. I want to be living in harmony being in harmony with all the other units. With that understanding, I have the determination and I see that for this, I need to be able to see my role, see my participation, be able to see the relatedness between each and every unit and seeing that relatedness, having that clarity of the relationship my role gets decided. 
now i bring all my desires in line with this so that becomes my desire rather than so many other desires that i was getting from outside now my desire is to live in relationship in harmony be in coexistence with every other unit that becomes my desire and as that is my desire now my thoughts move in that direction as my thoughts and then my expectations come in line then i work outside yeah so outside as an expression how it will be seen will be in my behavior in my work isn't it behavior with other human beings it will reflect in that working with the rest of nature i'll be looking at the harmony in nature and making sure not to disturb rather trying to see what i can do to help in the process from my side how i can do this and i will try to look at what i can do to participate in the larger order to bring about this ultimately you know reaching that goal of the undivided human society and the universal human order so that we can have that tradition so on the one hand there is the realization within with which i am working to bring my lower activities in line and on the other end i am also working outside doing playing my part my participation in all of this um uh, namaskar madam madam in uh, this model 1 the second uh, possibility is included in 1 uh, uh, madam why it is it uh, why is it separately uh, told ah uh, one is when we are moving upwards upwards uh, madam isn't it we yeah, start from the lowest activity and we are moving upwards yeah madam second possibility is when we are moving downwards from the highest activity that actually once uh, a person attains self realization generally he looks into he is in line with the natural acceptance always that's why he definitely uh, the lower activities uh, he is doing with uh, realization na? is it if you then, look at you know so many you know always the conduct may not be in line until and unless we bring it in line so see i the... get to realization okay there are many methods isn't it at this method from going to the lowest activity to the highest activity but if you see there are many other methods of getting to realization that is okay madam when people get to realization until and unless you work on your sanskars you know your sanskars may drive again you may be able to see the whole thing but until and unless you bring your feelings and thoughts in line with it until and unless you work on getting rid of your deep sanskars mm -hmm. they may drive see even now what happens sometimes we are able to see you know that relationship we say that we can see the relationship we mm. have the feeling of relationship but we find that with some people we are able to have this feeling of relationship but at other times when something is very significant for us and somebody else comes in the way of that we find again we don't have feeling of relationship at that moment we have feeling of opposition mm, madam isn't it yeah. so now we have been able to see but it's not in our living why because my sanskars i have not cleared up so my mm. sanskar is driving my feeling yeah really once you told uh, we have to attain that self realization uh, then we general we don't come back again that you told that's why again now we are telling uh, we are coming back means but that's why i got doubt is it coming in your conduct is yeah, it yeah. coming in your conduct or not no oh, yeah yeah 
so there is a possibility okay madam yeah and even if we come back generally we are in line with it we do things in line with it yes madam i have yeah. understood It's open because we have not reached there so ah, yeah really really madam but uh, but mung but... concept is important no uh, it yeah, is yeah. important to keep it open for myself that yeah, yeah, yeah. you know right now we say our goal is to see the reality as it is yeah yeah but madam how do i know that i have seen it yeah yeah and how do i know that now i have understood it yeah yeah then it we come in my living oh ah, yeah yeah so if it is the case we cannot discuss at all <laughs> unless yeah really i can understand madam really yeah see there may be many people that we don't know of who may have been able to see this no ah, really madam thing but they are not really helping They're expressing oh, yeah yeah No? but we 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 feel that they are not helping but uh, they help uh, I mean, always there are many examples i don't yeah, want yeah. to give names really really but you will find many people who claim to be realized na no? but you don't see it in their conduct hmm so that question mark comes then yeah we, we may not understand madam but when you realized how mm -hmm. is it possible so we may not understand we have to have completeness of the conduct also yeah really really madam that also we must pay attention to isn't it yeah yeah madam so thank you as we have also said na here yeah. in this forum also so mm -hmm. many people say i have been able to see space ah uh, i think they mean uh, physical only madam <laughs> so with gross eyes with gross eyes only i am no, also no. telling i am able to see means with gross eyes only not no, with but that. it is very subtle so you can't really yeah, see yeah yeah really really, really madam really it? yeah really ultimately you have to come back and complete the conduct also it must come in the living okay madam okay madam madam thank you thank you yes thank you so much for such an enriching session thanks to you again namaste